so please excuse me because in this video uh, you may notice that my mother tongue is not uh, English language so I struggle to transfer uh, what I mean to you in a very uh, con uh, very cons uh, consistent uh, words uh, I want to tell in this video that what happened if we want to locate a star or planet uh, in the sky by this equatorial mount uh, how to uh, locate the star by knowing right ascension and declination uh, we may uh, use the equatorial mount to locate the star location uh, but not this is not usual because um, uh, we must at first um, uh, uh, align to the North Pole a Polaris star uh, so you must visit at first uh, other sites or other videos on YouTube that uh, instruct how to uh, align your scope your telescope to uh, the North Pole Polaris uh, uh, by magnetic pole uh, magnetic the magnetic pole or the Polaris uh, star to be uh, more accurate uh, uh, but after that how the, the question now the important question now how we can locate the star by its coordinate value by its declination and the right ascension how we can adjust this uh, right ascension to uh, the coordinate of the star or planet we found it in the star map or the star program software uh, so that when we aim the, the telescope uh, to the uh, sky we found it or found it very close to our uh, adjustment our adjustment this is what we learn in this video what we must do at first is to align the telescope to the North Pole Polaris star after we align this equatorial mount to the North Pole uh, and setting uh, the latitude, the latitude here, uh, and align this uh, telescope to the North Pole, the direction of the North Pole, uh, uh, we must find uh, object in the sky uh, with a known declination and right ascension. So if we target moon for to be clear we must found from star map uh, its declination and uh, right ascension and after we aim the telescope to this known object in the sky uh, we uh, setting the circle here setting the circle to the corresponding right ascension and declination so setting the circle of the right ascension to the known uh, this object known uh, right ascension and setting the declination for this object known uh, declination uh, so we calibrate this uh, we calibrate we calibrate this uh, equatorial mount after that what we do is uh, download our software uh, it's a freeware not uh, it's v free after you setting the declination the, the right ascension and declination of the star uh, you record the time current today in the year if you in first january you record that this we we are first today in the year if you in the february you uh, indicate that we in 31 or 32 or 33 day in the in the year if you at the December at the last day on the December you enter to the software 
that you are in the 365 day in the year and record this day what you did what in your current day uh, in the year and after that you record your calibration time if you calibrate this right ascension and declination at the six o'clock uh, a.m so you record this time at hours at specific hours and minute so what we do after that we enter this information to the software we develop the software contain a model math a very simple very simple mathematical model that we gives you gives you uh, at the final stage uh, after calculation the exact the exact at any time at any time you want to observe any star you enter the coordinate the declination and right ascension of this star and the current time observing time you want to observe this in the space into the space and after that you enter this information to the software model and the software gives you what you would what you want to adjust right ascension declination is not changing not changing with time declination is fixed for every object but there's a changing because the earth rotate is right ascension so the software after you enter this information gives you the exact right ascension you must to adjust to locate or become near to this object you want to observe this is uh, act like as a finder scope so if you don't know the uh, name or the uh, can't you can't identify what you find by the finder sto uh, scope or by you find watching by the telescope you can write use this software as identification because it's because you enter its right ascension and uh, declination and you found or become near close very near close to this object in the sky so you can find it and uh, uh, by its coordinate 